and here we are with the. So uh, we don't even know if the gun's so still works. It sounds like what you're saying is you're frustrated because you're not getting all the information. I th I'm, the only thing I care about really though is from the, the standpoint of Kmart is whether or not they are still, have, it, have this guy still on their payroll. Okay. So ask Kmart. I tried. Oh, believe me, I've been in here several times. Well, I mean by that I mean like contact like the main officer, the corporate officer, or something like that, and try that. No, but I, I think the news has. I know. Okay. Well, let's try that because here's the thing: if if you're not here in the store to purchase anything and they don't want you here anymore, and they say they don't want you here anymore, you have to leave. So you're more than welcome to protest or make. On the sidewalk, right here. Yes, ma'am. Just stop the property because it's still private property. So if they don't want you here, then you have to leave. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Is there any questions? Any other questions? Anything I can help yeah. What are these people going to be charged? Okay. One question at a time. Sorry, I just now? want to know whether or not the dude who killed that guy is still working. Okay. That's what I want to know. Okay. And I don't think that's a lot to ask from a store that's in the middle of our community here in Albuquerque. You don't you want to know? It's, you're right. It's not would, a lot. It's would not. you want your um, kid to shop in here knowing that they had somebody like that? Well, I don't know. It, here? it depends on the circumstances. You know? here, here's the thing. Like I said, it sounds like tell me you're frustrated because you're just not getting all the information you're concerned that there's this business that's still operating here it's not the gentleman. business itself it's the dude it's the guy who killed the guy so your primary concern is just whether, whether or not, not he's still, still on the loose, loose. Okay. still on the loose in here well here's the thing it's not essentially it's not essentially a murder or at least not yet there's <laughs> the investigation the investigation doesn't come to resolution like like overnight there's a lot of investigating that has to be done not only here at the scene, but at the whole mine. Yeah, yeah. The, they tampered I, with evidence in addition. They cleaned up the aisle with towels from the store. They sure did. That's okay, all on video. You don't know that YouTube. for sure. Oh, well, yes, we, we do. It's on the YouTube so, video. They threw a witness out. Okay, well, if that's the case, that has to be investigated as well. So, well, like I, I said, we yeah, absolutely, that's part of their job. That's why, that's why I'm trying to tell you it doesn't like happen overnight. So, detectives have to review all the evidence that they talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. Look at the video, like you mentioned. Oh my, has to conduct an autopsy and determine the cause of death and obtain, it, obtain the evidence from there, from that autopsy, and then go from there. And then once all the detectives, including Oh my, have gathered as much evidence as they possibly can, then they submit the case to the district attorney's office and they determine whether or not they're asking for questions. In the meantime, we've got a killer on the loose here. Well, that's just it. We don't, we don't know that he's necessarily a killer. We didn't know the guy was well, necessarily a shoplifter. He, he was killed for being a presumed shoplifter. Okay, well, we don't, store. we don't know that for certain yet. Okay. Well, we do. That's so, what they charged, that he was shoplifting, so they killed him. That's not exactly what happened. We don't know that for yeah, sure. Yeah, it yet. is what happened. Okay, so we have to. That's their story. That's what they said. Okay, well, well, let that be their story, but we still have an investigation to complete. Yeah. Okay. So in the and meantime, then, you don't think that the Albuquerque Police Department or somebody should inform the public um, on, a, on a routine basis that this person is likely still employed here and no, I, I do. Be very, very dangerous I to do, shop here? I do believe you deserve that information. However, I'm not the person. How long would it take for somebody on the street to sit on that, that, we, that, that information should be known for the public? To know whether or not that guy's still working. Well, that's kind of dependent on where the investigation's at. Because, How long would it take to investigate if I sat on her and killed her in the sidewalk? Just one at a time, okay? I'm trying to answer her question. You're doing good, though. That, de that depends on where the investigation is, okay? So sometimes they do have to withhold certain information that may be critical of the investigation, but they don't want to release just yet because they still have to because they still have to investigate that part. Does that make sense? Yes, but can so, I ask you a question? Have, have you looked at the video on YouTube of this incident? No, ma'am. I highly recommend you do. Okay. I'm serious, it will blow your mind. Okay. It's called The Death of Jonathan Sorensen, and you have to spell his name wrong. Right, okay. It's J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N. Okay. And the last name is S-O-R-E-N-S-E-N. It was a two-minute video, okay. and there was a witness who reported that the, the paramedics with the CPR on this kid. And the managers at Kmart, the employees, are yelling at each other to grab something and clean up the crime scene. Okay. So they grab stuff off the rack and start wiping the floor up with it. Okay. And um, then they come up and talk to the girl, and she's trying to talk to the employees, saying, I am ICT trained, and you guys were doing an improper restraint. And she had tried to intervene before she ever picked up her camera. Okay. And the loss prevention.
kitchen guy. Come on, you've watched the video. It's two minutes well, long. Well, here's the here's the thing about the video. I, I can assure you, if that video is on YouTube, it's on YouTube. That the detectives had that video, and possibly more Are than just that sure? two minutes. Because they forced her to leave the store. Who knows? If actually, she even talked to the detectives. Actually, actually, I am sure that that video is from Anthony Todd's mouth. It's in the hands of the detectives because they showed up and they pulled the video. Through. The video surveillance? Oh, good. No, this oh. isn't video surveillance. This is cell phone oh, video you're talking from about a cell phone bystander video. Oh, okay, that, that they ejected from the store. Okay, that that I don't know. I don't know if they were able That's to contact her. That's why I'm telling you this is so or, important to watch that video. It will show you what happened, and you will be concerned if you watch it. Yeah, it sounds like there's some important evidence There's in that some video. very big evidence in that video, and I've been very concerned with the detectives. I don't know if they've seen it or not, because that was a cell phone video that was just posted on YouTube. It's there. Okay. It's two minutes long and it's extremely disturbing. Okay. And they're blocking the view, wiping up crime scene, you know, wipe that up, clean that up, and they're grabbing stuff off the racks okay. to wipe up the crime scene. And he's laying there dead. Okay. And the paramedics are chest infection. So you still have a lot of questions in there. Well, I don't think I'm even more. I don't think that anybody has a lot of questions. Yeah, it sounds like there's quite a few people. Answer. So well, I appreciate your time and well, you've been very professional. My name's Kathy. Officer you've been very professional. And well, it's thank been you for a pleasure talking to, me, to talk Kathy. to you. Here's the thing, guys, is, is regardless of all these questions, this still need to be answered. Unfortunately right now this isn't the way to do it. If they don't want you in the store, you yeah. can't be in the store, it's private property, okay? That's not to say that you're more than welcome to stand off the uh, private we'll, property. We'll be back. Okay, just, we'll, just, we'll be here. Ma'am, Kathy, just make sure you don't come back in the store, okay? They don't want to tell you. So we're at like 86 for life from Kmart? For life? I don't know. They don't want you in this store. 86 for life from Kmart? They don't want you in this store right now. So you can't come back to the well, store. Well, I can okay. assure you I'll never spend a nickel in that store as long as I live. Okay. And I've, I've, I've been, um, asked you to come you watch that video, okay. and I'll, I'll be able to never set foot in the store again. Okay. It's, it's very shocking, but make sure you spell his name right. It's Death Jonathan Sorensen. Okay. And will you please do me a favor and find out if the detectives have not seen that video because they rejected her from the store. Make sure that they did. Okay. Okay? All right, thank you. Do you want to anything else? Yeah. I don't think so. I think my phone's probably All right, guys, please don't come back on the property, okay? Mm -hmm.